the nation will gather around him not only the southeast and in that day a southeasterner watching via the satellite on the internet not one of you will live an ordinary Let life your, in your, your appetite will change your desires will change it will no longer be business as you Do you understand it? Because it's a love and relationship week. Let me contextualize it for you. Aha. Uh -huh. Listen, one of the concepts that has got the most battered mindsets in the atmosphere is love, relationship, and marriage. Every day, new concepts are coming up. I mean, every day, new concepts are coming up. As to how to choose a wife. And many of those concepts are becoming globally acceptable. In fact, we have explanations for them. For instance, one of the things that I figured out is striving in the context of a generation. Hear this carefully. If it doesn't worry you, it's well. If it worries you, repent. One of the things that seems to be selling within the context of a generation is talk. I cannot buy what I've not tasted. We need to establish whether we are compatible. So, if we only talk and meet and gist, we can as, uh, assess mental compatibility. We can assess, do you understand? Oh, yeah, we can be friends. But how we will show that our genes meet? How we show that we are sexually compatible? Excuse me. Who did your compatibility test for food? <laughs> Certain things were placed instinctively within man. Let me tell you. Hey, hey, let me say the one that will lock me in jail this night. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? And there is there is nothing like sexual compatibility. Every woman is sexually compatible with every man. A.K.A. Any male man can sleep with any female woman and it will be pleasurable. Just like beast was not created for your great-grandfather's village. Every human being can eat bees and survive. Does it make sense? But the world creates certain concepts and throws them in front of us and it seems to make sense. How am I sure she has the ability to pregnant to, to pregnant? You see, you should not enter into a marriage where the competition was who will give birth. Because he married your child. Ah. Oh, you didn't hear me. I say, he did not marry you. He married your child. Because what he's saying to you is you are useless without a child. And God did not intend for children to be the reason for marriage. Children are a natural consequence of marriage. They are never the reason for it. Are you following me? So Satan is selling us concepts daily. And working over time to get a generation to accept the concepts that he's selling. Please follow me. Because if you follow me and we arrive at the light of life, then we can ask the question, what then is love? So it would be foolish to build according to the concepts of Babylon and expect the outcome of Zion. 